As many of you know, Sydney Owens passed away on February 23rd of 2009. She had many friends, most of whom couldn't make the funeral. Because of this, I've decided to go ahead and tape the eulogy that was written for her by myself and many of her acquaintances so that those who could not attend the funeral could not miss this part of it. I also grabbed a handful of the memorial flyers and if you'd like to have one sent to you, go ahead and email me. I'd be happy to send one your way. When I heard that Sydney was gone, I asked her family for the chance to say a few words here today. There's so much I wanted to share with you. She loved you so much. It feels impossible to tell the story of a life, even one so terribly short, in just a few minutes. There are no words to do justice to the emotions, the smiles, laughter, tears, and triumphs of someone as vibrant as Sydney Owens. So I did what I believe Sydney herself would have done if our places were reversed. It's a natural response to so many artists when they feel compelled to do something that seems too much for one person to do alone. I collaborated. Sydney's life is difficult to memorialize because of how incredibly fully it was lived. It was practically bursting with love, passion, creativity, and desire. The desire to create art that made the world a more interesting place. Her uncanny ability to fully endear herself to those with whom she worked gave me plenty of people eager to who show respect to her loved ones by helping honor her memory by sharing the Sydney we knew with the ones that she loved. Wikipedia defines a supernova as a stellar explosion. They're extremely luminous and cause a burst of radiation that briefly outshines an entire galaxy before fading from view over several weeks or months. During this short interval, a supernova can radiate as much energy as the sun could emit over its entire lifespan. This word, this definition, was the most appropriate comparison director Lauren Hickman could make when she was told of the departure of her own starlet. Sydney's life story did so much to shape and build the character that she played in our film Flick. And like so many other passionate artists, Sydney was a star that burned out well before her time. Sydney and I became close during her brief career as a model and actress. Whether rocking a runway at her very first show, or lighting up a film set while hugely pregnant with her daughter, Sydney's vibrant enthusiasm affected every life she touched. And it was here, in that spotlight, that Sydney found her true home. Those of us fortunate to be part of that home became the family inside it, if only while the lights were on. Those of us lucky enough to find ourselves in Sid's permanent artistic family are staggered by this loss. But in the unlikely event that our memories should fade, we will always have the images we created as a team. Fashion designer Serena Rose found a constant source of inspiration in Sydney. She told me, I can't imagine a day that I'll sew a dress without first picturing Sid posing so sweetly in it. I can relate. It will be hard for me to fill a frame in Brittany D's camera without making space for Sydney beside me. I would give nearly anything to have Sid upstage me just one more time. Many believe that the true measure of a life is what is left at its end. If that's true, then the girl poet Joshua Boyd described as often looked at but rarely seen has surpassed any expectations that those viewing her life from the outside could even imagine. She's left us with thousands of images and dozens of styles. Hours of film footage of both beautifully acted scenes and goofy outtakes, and volumes of written work. To know her unique beauty and many talents are preserved in this way helps to fill the hole her passing has created in us that our tears alone cannot. 
Sunny's final gift to those who love her will help dry the tears and fill the empty space of her absence. It's seeing a reflection of the girl we loved and the baby girl she left behind. Though Novi has been cheated out of years with her mother, she will have much to remember her by. Photos, films, writings, and most of all, the loving memories of Sydney that we will all have the joy of sharing with her when the time is right. Until then, Novella and Nicole will have more arms open to her than one child could possibly fill and as much love as any baby ever had. This is the only gift we can give Sydney now and the last of many joys she has blessed us with.